Enoch Powell was the most controversial of Tory politicians before Margaret Thatcher. His devotees claimed he was a man of unwavering principle. His detractors that he represented the respectable face of gutter politics. The former Wolverhampton MP himself says that the thread which runs through his life is his belief in the nation. In this country, in 15 or 20 years time, the black man will have the whip hand over the white man. Well, I can already hear the chorus of execration. How dare I say such a horrible thing? How dare I stir up trouble and inflame feelings by repeating such a conversation? My answer is, that I do not have the right not to do so. The issue of race was to bring Powell into confrontation with Heath. Powell decided to quote directly from the experiences with immigrants of his white constituents. Only parts of that polemical speech were filmed, but Powell has kept his original text. He began by attacking the Labour government's bill that outlawed racial discrimination. The discrimination and the deprivation the sense of alarm and of resentment lie not with the immigrant population, but with those among whom they have come and are still coming. This is why to enact legislation of the kind before Parliament at this moment is to risk throwing a match onto gunpowder. Powell quoted a letter he said he'd received about an elderly widow living in Wolverhampton the only white resident left in her street. He quoted from the letter, she's becoming afraid to go out. Windows are broken. She finds excreta pushed through her letterbox. When she goes to the shop, she's followed by children, charming, wide-grinning piccaninnies. They cannot speak English, but one word they know, racialist, they chant. Those whom the gods wish to destroy, they first make mad. We must be mad, literally mad as a nation, to be permitting the annual inflow of some 50,000 dependents who are for the most part the material of the future growth of the immigrant descended population. It is like watching a nation busily engaged in heaping up its own funeral pyre. Powell ended the speech with a quote from Virgil translated from Latin. As I look ahead, I'm filled with foreboding. Like the Roman, I seem to see the river Tiber foaming with much blood. It was that line, not filmed at the time, which gave the speech its Rivers of Blood title. As the storm broke in the press, the Times condemned it as an evil speech, and there were grain demands for Ted Heath to sack Powell from the Shadow Cabinet and the Smithfield meat porters marched on Parliament with a petition. There's 2,026 signatures there to say that Mr Enoch's right, that we have the right to say who we like and who we don't like. This is not a racial problem. All we say is that we've got enough immigrants into the country and that no more should be allowed in. Nobody had any idea of the effect that it would have. It touched the spring a spring which vibrated in the hearts of millions of people in this country. 2,000 signatures in two days. And if you can 88% of Slough people say they support Enoch Powell. 88% Slough people. But I've achieved a good deal and I hear my voice, I hear my voice coming through in what is said and I see myself being proved right. What I had to say about immigration, what I had to say about the nation, what I had to say about Europe was heard and is still echoing. 